Hello friends, this is Rajdeep. Welcome to Learning Insight for UG Senior GRF Social Work Paper 2. In this channel, we are discussing for UG Senior GRF Social Work subject. And this channel is also helpful for MSW and BSW for their student for their study material concern. So if you are new in this channel, consider for subscribing. And uh, today we will discuss social work research and goals of social work research, nature, then scopes, then process of social work research, then steps, then formulation of research problem, then variables and then operationalization of variables. Remember this uh, research topic is very important for your net JRF concept because every time they ask 5 to 6 question on research only. So you will get 12 to 14 marks from research. So let's start. What is social work research? Social work research is the application of research method to production of knowledge that social workers need to solve problem they comfort in practice of social work. So the social work research provide information that can be taken into consideration by social worker prior to making decisions that affect their clients programs, agencies such as use of alternative intervention techniques or change or modification of program and so forth. So social work research is a application that means practical based research method you can say and this is the production of knowledge and that solve the problems or deals with the problem that is related to social work practice only and that make decision that that affect their clients, then programs, policies and agencies for their betterment you can say or intervention or bringing change. Now what is the goal of social work research? The goal of social work research is nothing but it's a search for answering regarding the following question. Okay, I will discuss. So social work is a pragmatic research. Is a practice based research is a practical research action research you can say the major objectives of social work research is to search for answer the regarding the following questions first how to make intervention and treatment effective in social work practice so your intervention and treatment how it's affect the social work practice second how to deal with the problem faced by social work practitioners in practice and their professions and how to develop the theory, knowledge and social work practices. So your ultimate interventions will be your developing theories, knowledge and that overall develop your social work practice profession. Now next, okay, what is the social work research process? So social work research begin with identification of problems. Any research is begin with the identification of problem only. And then setting up our goals, I mean social science research, okay. So then setting up of goals followed is the process of need assessment of the client problems. And then next is setting up of goal to be achieved. The goal should be specific, precise, defi defined and measurable. That means the goal should be very smart. And then the next step is is to have pre-intervention measurement that is measurement prior to intervention that means pre-testing it is used as basis through which client condition has been compared after intervention next steps is the introductions of introductions of intervention in the last stage research access the effects of intervention by comparing to measurement that is pre-intervention measurement and post-intervention measurement so use and then only you can give a better treatment to or intervention to your client now next nature of social work research now social work research primarily deals with problem any research is deals with the problems but the, remember social work research deals with the problem that is related to social work knowledge or profession or for practitioners or for community agencies and so on or social work functions you can say 
So social work research primarily deals with problems faced by professional social workers, social work agencies, community in its concern with social work functions. In other words, in social work research, the problem is to be in problems to be investigated are always found in course of doing social work or planning to do it. Now, what are the scopes of social work research? The social work research is conducted to know the effectiveness of different method of social work. That means on the different method you can go for research and to search for alternative treatment and intervention. So whatever treatment and, uh, and intervention strategies already designed, you can go for testing or search for new things. And social work research also organized to identify social work needs and resources, evaluate the program services of social work agencies are the areas in which social work research are conducted. So, now social work research may be conducted to know the problem faced by the social work professionals and concerned community. Overall, social work research cover entire social work profession, entire social work profession that means social work concept, theories, methods, programs, services, problem faced by the social worker in their practice. So, this research is not only deals with the clients but also deals with the social work practice profession as it is a Im newly emerged profession in India. As social work is diverse profession, other possible broad research area could be commun ok. The, 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 now, we consider this is a, mul is a social, social work is a diverse profession because we take different theories and math and techniques from other disciplines. So, it uh, can be considered broadly considered for the work or work or research could be the community health, community mental health, child welfare, women welfare, youth welfare, age welfare, substance abuse, poverty elevation, mental deterioration, juvenile delinquency, crime, correctional administration, etc. So, these are the broader area of research that can be done by the social worker researcher as well. Now next, okay, what are the steps of any scientific research? So according to Theodorsons and Theodorsons, 1969, scientific method involved the following steps. So he has given the scientific research uh, having the following steps. First, the problem is defined. So whatever your problem is, research problem, you have to define it. Second, the problem is stated in terms of particular theoretical framework and related to relevant findings of previous research. That means some kind of review of literature. So, so then only you can find the relevant previous research. And then third, a hypothesis relating to the problem is developed. That means you have to develop hypothesis. That means research. And fourth, the procedures to be used in gathering is data is gathered okay gathering data is gathered so that means you have to develop uh, develop or give the procedures that means sampling research design techniques all these things for collecting your data and fifth data are analyzed in data to determine if the hypothesis accept, accepted or rejected that means you have to go for analyzing of data and then you go for interpretations so, at, at the time of analysis, you have to also test your hypothesis. That means you have to test your questions, whatever you have formed, whether it is accepted or rejected. Now, finally, the conclusion of the study is related to the original body of theory, which is modified in accordance with the new findings. So, then only you go for uh, writing the discussions or conclusions. Now, next, okay, early babies in the book practice of social research has proposed the following six element of research proposal. So, he has given the six steps of research proposal or research uh, problem formulation or you can say research proposal writing. First problem and or objectives. So, what you have to do is stating what is to be studied in the objectives or problems. It owed and practical significance and its contribution to the construction of social theories. So, that means you have to problematize the things or you have to objectify the things of what you want to do. Now, next review, literature review. 
that means what other have said about this topic what theories have been addressed to it and what are the flaws of the existing research that can be remedied that means you have to start read the existing knowledge exist in the world that you have to go through this topic and all that you want to cover in your research study now next that subject for study that means from whom the data to be collected how to reach persons who are available for study whether selecting sample will be appropriate and if yes how to select this sample and how to ensure that research that is being conducted will not harm the respondent so that means you have to give your uh, designing your research research design or you can say sampling or sampling design sampling design technique all this are, you have to you have to mention in this uh, area that means subject for study and how this uh, study will not harm for the society or for the respondent that you have to also mention now then only you go for measurement now measurement is determining key variables for the study and how these variables will be defined and measured so in that measurement you have to identify the variable that means question which to be answered by your study and that and that is that have to be measured or different no, data collection method determining methods to be used for collecting data like survey or experiment statistic to be used or not so again you have to uh, uh, what are the tools or techniques you will use for collecting your data whether you want to uh, data in a text form or whether we want to data from a statistic forms that you have to ensure and you accordingly you have to collect the data then you go for analysis so spell out the logic of analysis whether variation in some quality are to be accounted or not and if and the possible explanatory variable to be analyzed so analysis means you have to whatever uh, whatever uh, data you have collected that you have to go for analyzing whether in the form of quantity or quality now next hortons and hunt 1984 have pointed out eight steps in social scientific research so again he have given eight steps these all are same whatever way they are saying in a different writer have saying the different way but all are the ultimate the same you have to follow these steps in your research so define the problems in the first he has said define the problem what is the oath studying through the methods of science that means why the study is important you have to define why this problem is important to study you have to define review of literature so the error of the other scholars may not be repeated I means why you have to do review of literature because you have to uh, be sure that this uh, the mistake that have done by other liter other scholars other researchers that should not be repeated by yourself then formulation hypothesis a proposition uh, which can be tested that means your assumptions which you what you want to test then plan of research design that means you have to outline the process for how what where the data to be is to be collected process analyzed this procedures or scientific method you will discuss then collection of data actual collection of facts and information in accordance with the research design so it it will mention how you will collect the data which method you will apply which technique you will be applying for your collection of data then analysis of data how you analyze whether you tabulate compare then the take data making whatever whatever the test are necessary to get the result then draw conclusions so whether the original hypothesis is found true or false and is confirmed or rejected or are the result inconclusive what has the research added to our knowledge and what new questions have been posed for further research so that you have to draw in your conclusion then replicate the study although the above mentioned seven steps complete in a single research steps but research findings are confined by the replications so it should be replicated means that means uh, the uh, the findings whatever you are seeing and this is not uh, exist in the society or it's not replicated in the society then it's 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 it is it should not it cannot be uh, a true research 
now next that is formulation of research problem formulation of research problem is the real starting point in preparation of research the research must be must have clearly formulated research question at the time of taking up the research otherwise they may have some loosely connected ideas about what should be research and might be confused with further course of actions so because uh, your problem should be formulated properly but otherwise you will be miss uh, other trackless and then the research question have to be related to three aspects what why and how what question seek description why question seeks explanation and understanding and how question seeks intervention to bring change now jikmund 1988 has said that the formulation of research problem is to be linked with the following questions what is the purpose of your study how much is already known in addition information necessary is additional information necessary what is to be measured how is to be measured can the require data be collected either either the respondent give correct information if is the present time appropriate for undertaking research is money and time adequate for the research so these are the for uh, research uh, problem while we formulating a research problem we have to be connected with this kind of question now next important point to be borne in mind while selecting a research pro right problem right problem first one the problem should be focused on assessing relationship between two or more concept it not on depend on single concept or relationship it should be stated clearly without any confusion then general problem should be broken down into sub concept or several research questions if that means your specific question should be there then it should be possible to collect the information relating to research problems then research problem should represent moral and ethical position that it should not be immoral or it should not be it it should be meet the ethical position of your research now what is variable a variable is an empirical property that takes two or more values for example i have already discussed uh, for example if uh, your gender is a variable that means your question then your value will be male female or transgender or any other options so logical set of attribute or anything varies from person to person is a variables so is is a vary from person to person also and is a empirical property now operationalization of variable for any inquiry accurate definition of concept and variable is considered as very essential so operationalization of variable means you just just uh, the the way doctor do the operation likewise a researcher also operate the term what he is use in his in his or her research for example if you are using the child labor or child in your uh, research title then why uh, how you want to define the term child in your subject matter concern or in your research purpose so that you have to be defined or that you have to operationalize so operationalization is the process of converting concept in their empirical measurement or of quantifying variables for the purpose of measuring their frequency for example regular students of a college may be operationally defined as students who attend more than 70% of the total lecture Ex or in measuring level of intelligent a person having a iq less than 75 is identified as a feeble minded of 100 per as an average person and more than 130 as a genius person so here the uh, the operationalization of definition of the term students so they have defined the regular students in a different way likewise you have to define also what do you mean by child in your so this is all about what i have shared if you like the content then please consider for subscribing and do like and share it with your friends as well so that others also get help and do like so that i can get motivated thank you thanks for watching